All right, I'm back. All right, so just uh, donned my gloves. I have my uh, homemade uh, sanitizer here, hand sanitizer, 65% uh, alcohol, and um, I guess the rest is 25% uh, or <laughs> 65, 70, 75, it'd be 30, 35% uh, aloe vera uh, gel. So these are brand new gloves. I just barely put them on. I do have wipes as well. And so, <clears throat> I know it's not good to put wet stuff on cardboard, but what I'm going to do is wipe it down anyway, and wipe and then dry it with a 100% cotton uh, t-shirt. So, so we can make sure that, and I'm going to put sanitizer stuff on here, because the wipey itself isn't going to be uh, good enough for for uh, sanit you know, disinfecting, has to have a disinfecting uh, liquid or agents in it. Now, like I say, I'm just going to do a quick run over it. Okay, there's the top. Very quickly, you know, nothing soaking. I'm not soaking it. I'm just getting it clean because, like I said, I don't know where this has been. Do the end here. <clears throat> Dry that. Turn it around. Do this side. Dry this side. This side, almost done. Do this side, since I'm there. And you know, the rag is a little bit dirty too. You can see that it's getting a little bit dirty. So it's good that I'm cleaning this. I'm disinfecting this box. Cleaning it with a uh, disinfectant or a uh, hand sanitizer. All right, so go ahead and throw that there. Last wipe. It even has still has a hook on it for when it was hanging. All right, I think we got it. I think we did a good job here. All right, so disinfected the box and as you can see on the top here it says 02 there that's the number of the saber 01 is uh, I think Yoda's or uh, Luke Skywalker 2 is Darth Vader so anyway so the, I can fill the hilt down on this end here um, there you can see the picture Star Wars uh, the Black Series, Darth Vader, Force Effects, Force Effects Lightsaber. And let's see here, it says uh, three AA ba alkaline batteries in it required, not included. And I'm sure you've seen many, many of, of these uh, unboxings already to, to know what else it says on this uh, box. And I don't believe we have to really go through a lot of that. So the tape is on this side, so let me go ahead and get the... The knife and cut up, cut the tape off. So this tape was already broken off, or no? No, it looked like he he retaped it again. Okay, so let me go ahead and so I get this one out of here. <clears throat> oh no, <laughs> it, it opened already. Okay, that just popped right up. Okay, so this one is taped down. So let me go ahead and. Okay. This one didn't stick very well, so it's already opening. So, all of this, okay, let's tape there. Maybe one more. Right here. Uh, I 
like that. You'd figure a knife so so sharp but yet doesn't cut very fast. Okay, so there we go. Alright, so this is the very first first view of the saber. The boxing on the box unopened. Or <laughs> unopened, the box opened. Oh, uh, okay. My carpet down here on my rug tripping me up. Bad timing for it to do that. All right, there's what it looks like. What's, what's in it? You can see the stand down there. It's one of the clear stands. Some of the stands that I've seen on uh, eBay and on Amazon have been uh, black ones. And it said Darth Vader and stuff like that on there. This one's a clear see-through one. Okay, so, so that's what it looked like. That's what it looks like packaged, the way he, he's packaged it. Looks like everything is uh, there from when he first bought it. What I'm noticing, oh yeah, I'm noticing a little bit more of a red tint in the saber, in the, the blade, than I did on the other one. The other one that I had purchased first had a whiter, it was whiter, the blade. Uh, so anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and take this saber out. Let's take uh, these little pads of bubble wrap out of there. And I believe I'll probably have to lift this up first. Yep, let me pull that out of there. And then push this out. And voila. And, and bien, muy bien. Okay, and let's take the, let's get the stand out of here. And it comes with the... Uh, there you go, and it comes with a little brochure of some kind here. Zero two, Darth Vader Force Effects lightsaber. <clears throat> okay. So now, now that we got that out, now we have to re-clean this one. <clears throat> because like I say, don't know, you know, what what they've been touching on with this thing. I did this to the other one too when I first got it. Well, first of all, before I clean it, let's take a look at it, shall we? Ah, the lighting is so terrible in here. Uh, it's my fault anyway, so let's see if you could get a, if I could get a close-up of that. There's the bottom of the pummel. The, the pommel, pommel. <sighs> Still has some of the little foam stuff in there. What's really neat that I like too is he left the stickers on everything. He didn't pull them off. Because, you know, when you pull them off, if you don't clean them right, uh, it'll leave a sticky residue on there. Uh, and I, when I first seen the, the other Sabre that I purchased, and I saw the stickers were off, I was like, oh, I wish he would have just left them on there. Because... He didn't clean it 100% and there was still a bit of a sticky residue on there and it got dirty and you could see it a bit. I tried to clean it but I just, you know, left it for a while. But there it is. So all the stickers are still on this as if when he purchased it. I'm looking at the blade right now and the blade uh, looks okay so far. I don't see any bends or cracks. It looks pretty clean. He did say that he kept this as a display piece. Let's see how true that is. We'll see how true that is in a little bit. So, put that down. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, I just wanted to make sure that I got a good view of this before. Make sure nothing is loose. That's tight. That D ring, that's tight. Nothing's. Okay, let me check everything. That feels tight. Nothing's loose. This feels a little, well, it wiggles just slightly, very, very slightly it wiggles back and forth. Let me see, maybe I have to re-tighten a bit, I don't know. Anyway, that looks tight, this doesn't move, that looks secure. The grips feel good. They feel good. Let me put this down, because I'm not using it right now. So I don't, I have to check to see if it comes with batteries. Uh, he did say it was like an immaculate condition, which it does look like it.
All right, so there it is. You're looking at it just like the same time I am, right out of the box. Right out of the box, you're looking at it at the same time I am, in real time. No shutting off the camera, no coming back and doing anything to it. Uh, you know, in case it don't work, I have proof of this, that I just took it out real time, without no editing. That uh, you're looking at it in real time, just as I'm taking it out of the box. All right, so let's go ahead and sanitize this down, clean it up. Put some more, put some of the sanitizer in here. Like I said, I did this to, to the other saber as well because you want to make sure that you sanitize your, your, th your items that you're purchasing over the internet and not taking a chance, you know. Not taking a chance of having any kind of COVID-19 COVID germs on there. Because you're going to be touching this with your hands. And, you know, <laughs> you don't want it to have any kind of infection on it. Or any kind of germs. And so this is at least, you know, who's, you know I'm not saying this, this is going to 100% kill every germ that's on this saber. But it sure helps take care of a lot of them. As opposed to not cleaning it at all and leaving it all without cleaning it and then still having germs everywhere, you know. So at least I'm cleaning it to take off as many germs as I can. In case, you know, because this has been sitting at somebody else's house. Not mine. It's been sitting somewhere else. So I'm cleaning this, disinfecting it. Getting it uh, ready for me to handle. <clears throat> All right, I think, uh, I think I did a pretty good job there of drying it off, drying it down. Let me get some of the crevices in here, the little tight cracks in here. All right, I think, uh, I think that did the trick there. All right, so let me see. If, let's turn it on to see if there's batteries in it. Oh, there's batteries in it. And the sword looks nice and bright. There is sound to it. There's motion sensors, action going on. Swing, swing sound. And that's what I was looking for. A working saber. <laughs> okay. It's very low. Very low, but you know, it, uh, it's better at a decent sound like this than to be super loud and you can't use it inside your house because it's blasting everybody out. Now let's see if it has the clash. There it is. So, I'm, I'm happy. I think I'm happy with this. Oh, shit, I forgot to disinfect the, the stand. All right, let's turn it off. Turn it back on. Turn it off. Very nice. I'm happy with it. Although the only thing is I do feel a slight little wiggle. Very, very slight though. It's not a lot. Very slight with the the, the hilt or the, the shroud up here. 
It might be, I wonder if, because maybe the screw is loose and I need to tighten that screw up. I already tightened these down here up, up on top, so it can't be those. Anyway, so I'm very pleased, finally, that it worked right out of the box. He had batteries in there for me. It worked. The sound is coming out. The effects are working. Let me go ahead and wipe down this stand. Clean the stand. Ready? Disinfecting it. You know, I could I can imagine how many people don't think about doing this, you know, disinfecting their items when they get them from the internet. But it's a good practice. You know, I, I'll tell you, to be honest, I didn't think about it right away either myself until I bought the first Saber and then, you know, I, I just kept recalling in my mind about movies that I saw about packages coming with all that. Remember years ago they had that white powder, I forget what the heck was it, that poison or they were mailing stuff in envelopes and they open it and it'd get all over the face and it'd kill them and what was that powder stuff, remember? It was going all over the place, people were mailing it out and it was a big thing at one time. So I thought of that at the time, I thought Oh man, I don't want this thing to have something on it, you know, and I'm touching it with my hands. And then I get sick with it. So I decided, you know, let me go ahead and try to disinfect it first. So I would recommend that you all do the same thing. Disinfect your, uh, your products when you get them in. And be cautious, you know, when you open them. So there it is. I'm very happy with it. Dark Vader. Uh, lightsaber number zero two, number two of the series, of the black series. Alrighty, so well. There it is, everybody. There's my open boxing of my Darth Vader. Saber. Today is, uh, let me make sure. <laughs> let me make 100%. Oops, I'm watching a movie right now. Uh, it's not letting me see the date and time right there. Let me check my phone. Today is Thursday, December 17th, 2020. We're almost at the end of 2020, people. That's it. This is the last month of the year, and then we're going into January of the next year, of 2021. Anyway, and not to say that it was such a great year, starting from April and May and then uh, and on, or, or March, you know. It, it, just the COVID-19 hit us really bad, and it's still hitting us. The pandemic, we are in a serious, deadly pandemic at this time. And so, this is... Uh, the most reason or the main reason why I'm telling you about disinfecting your items when you get them wear gloves even all right so there it is so let me go ahead and take off these gloves because you're probably saying oh shit man he's touching all that stuff after he disinfected it and you're right you know now when you take off your gloves you take off one hold it with the other hand and then you take off the other one while you're wrapping the first glove in the second glove and that's how you you properly remove your gloves, not one at a time, and then psh, psh, like that, and then throw them both separate. Take off one, hold it, wrap them both in another one. So this way there's just one glove you're throwing away, and not a whole bunch of other ones that are polluting the whole trash environment. Um, the book, now I didn't disinfect the book, and I should have, <laughs> I should have, um, I should have had my gloves on when I did this, but yeah, I'm not even going to mess with that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the box. Um, maybe, maybe before I do it, I enjoy it a little bit more and then put it back in the box and put it aside, uh, probably over there with my Darth Vader uh, Hasbro helmet and my gloves. And I still yet to get the whole outfit. It seems like I'm getting uh, <laughs> the Darth Vader uh, uh, uniform bit by bit 
Um, but my plan is to buy, you know, the full outfit, uh, for the exception of the, the helmet, the saber, the gloves. I already have the gloves. But anyway, so there it is, people. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Darth Vader lightsaber from Hasbro 2015 model, which the blade don't come out, it's permanently attached. All right, we'll see you on the next one. This has uh, been uh, your, uh, I was going to say fan, your admirer. <laughs> This has been Keith Silva Sr. Wishing you all uh, Godspeed, healthy blessings to you and your family. And until we see you on the next one, take care, everybody.